I'm Allie. And I'm Becky. We are registered dietitians that are passionate about functional medicine. In this video, we are talking about the decline of testosterone in American men, how to assess your testosterone and symptoms to look out for. So we all know that testosterone is going to naturally decline with age, but what's concerning is we're seeing, for instance, a 65-year-old man today when compared to decades prior having substantially lower amounts of total testosterone than we saw historically. In fact, we're seeing an influence on sperm count to reduce by 1% per year. And so obviously that has significant implications when it comes to the world of fertility, but there are also many other symptoms that we can look at to assess for low T. Let's talk about some of those. Yes, we can see reduced libido and sex drive as testosterone declines. Decreased energy, just not as much of that get up and go. We can see depression and mood disturbances. Erectile dysfunction. Loss of body hair, including less beard growth and even hair health. We'll see increase of body fat and more of the male breast formation, more of that belly fat in men. We can see osteoporosis or unfavorable impact on bone health. Difficulty concentrating and brain fog. And then we can even see impact on sleep driving insomnia. Let's talk about why we think this decline is happening and why this trajectory in recent years has been so rapid. So I think the first one we've harped on in many of our hormone videos out there, and it's the idea that stress is not sexy. Individuals that are under high fight or flight survival mode actually shunt their reproductive hormones into cortisol. This is called the pregnenolone steal. Men are susceptible to this as well as women, where women will see first a rapid decline in progesterone, men will see a more dynamic response on their testosterone levels. So those that have adrenal insufficiency, have imbalanced cortisol values, or are just type A high-wired overstressed individuals are going to be at high risk of depleting levels of testosterone. We know that testosterone is pretty directly tied to muscle mass. So if we're not doing resistance training or some form of exercise and we're actually losing muscle as the years go on, we can see that testosterone dropping. This is great because that means that exercise is going to help to reverse that loss of testosterone in men. What's more is as men bioaccumulate more fat, fat itself is an estrogenic compound. So our adipocytes or our fat cells will drive estrogen levels in the body, which then further drives an imbalance of hormone as they're declining testosterone and they're producing more estrogen. Next up, we're looking at toxicity and the presence of endocrine disruptors just in our world has increased substantially in recent years as well. We look at phthalates, which are in the world of microplastics. These are going to be in vinyls and polymers. So these can be underwear to exercise clothes and even household furniture and so much more. And we also see a big category of metalloestrogens, which again are estrogen mimicking compounds. These can be found in our lead, in our aluminum, so drinking out of canned beverages, and then seeing a lot of these metal compounds in our paints and in other industrial products. Yes, and what's wild is research is actually demonstrating that exposure to some of these compounds in utero is affecting the future fertility of those babies. So the baby in my belly is impacted by those phthalates and metalloestrogens that I am exposed to or I ingest. We see these exposures impacting prostate function, testosterone production, even testicle and penis size. And beyond chemical toxins or microplastics as toxins, we're also looking at radiation to have a substantial influence on declining testosterone. EMF, if you will, or electromagnetic frequency that we get from our cell phone towers and from our devices can have a huge influence on testosterone levels. In fact, research shows just 30 minutes of cell phone radiation or exposure per day in a four week window having substantial influence on declining serum testosterone levels. 
What's more is men often walk around with their devices in their pocket. So they're getting very close to their prostate with these radioactive electromagnetic devices, which can disturb the function of the prostate gland. So keeping your phone at least four feet distance is a strong recommendation and keep it on airplane mode when not in use. Testosterone is actually one of the hormones that's pretty reliable to test in this serum, unlike other hormones like estrogen and progesterone for women. And so we can request from our doctor a total testosterone, a free testosterone, sex hormone binding globulin, and I would throw in there DHEA sulfate as well to get a complete picture of your testosterone level. Stay tuned for in two weeks when we release five ways to boost your testosterone levels naturally. So at this time, you can test, not guess, to know where you're at, but we've seen clinically thousands of men increase testosterone using naturally nourished supplements and food as medicine strategy to not only improve libido and fertility and penile function, but to also, of course, improve quality of life. Be sure to like this video, comment below with something that you've learned, and subscribe to the Naturally Nourished YouTube channel so you don't miss our upcoming video on what to do about all of this. Low testosterone. We know that ter 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 pterodactyls. Pterodactyls. <laughs> we know that pterodactyls have a lot of problems with their testosterone.